<laughs> and you want to you want to see this bird? She was just unbelievable. She was what? What? Oh, <laughs> hello there, warehouses. <laughs> Great show in store for you tonight. Two lads from Four Play DJs will be on to tell us about their many gigs, and His Royal Highness Ivor from the hit single Everybody's Drinking will be on the couch to have a chat. Let's get started. Roll it there, Roisin. The first guests I have on the couch have been described by one journalist as Ireland's most entertaining troupe of turntable technicians. Here they are in action. And here are the lads now to join me on the couch. <laughs> lads, welcome to the warehouse. Thanks a million. Thank right. you. Right, uh, this, this uh, four-play DJ, like, it's a unique idea, idea to put four DJs together on, on a stage. Uh, like, where, where did it come from? It's a crazy idea. Uh, yeah, it's a bit, because one DJ can be a diva enough as it is. Um, yeah. So you can imagine four of us up there at the same time. It was one of the lads who's in the group, Steve, uh, just well, myself and Rory had been DJing as a twosome for years as Red and Head, and that was quite sort of, that was a bit more dancier, so that's heavier yeah, yeah. music. And uh, then Cooper, I don't know where it came from, he will tell you that it was divine inspiration, and he is all being <laughs> God Almighty. He actually, it turns out he is he the is, Almighty. He is God, yeah, isn't yeah, he? He is a halo. <laughs> yeah. um, but he just came up with this, this idea to get myself and Ray involved and uh, sort of make the music a bit more commercial and um, kind of, you know, a club broad, friendly. Like yeah, 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 yeah. A bit of broader audience. But I'd say you, you were saying the harder music and yourself sort of, like if, if they're all different styles, how did you... Was it, is it difficult to try and blend all those? It was. Initially. <laughs> in the early days, yeah. there was an awful lot of, oh, for God's sake, yeah. happening. Usually when I was playing in tune. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, the, there was because like there was all the different styles and we did have our own sort of idea of what, like when a DJ is presented with a full dance floor that are, you know, it's heaving with people. Yeah. You know, four DJs will have a lot of the time four different ideas of where it should go musically. Yeah, yeah. But then what we found is the more gigs we were doing, there was more and more times where I'd have a CD lined up and Rory would go like, what do you play next? And I'll be like, oh, this. And he go, I was going to play that. <laughs> so we started gelling oh, so it started off okay. a lot more. So and, uh, yeah, what? initially, now, I was kind of dictating a lot of the stuff. I was going, what? No, Jesus, don't play <laughs> that. You're mad. Uh, Killian had a penchant for... Uh, Paul Simon at the time, do, didn't do, 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 do. Uh, so, uh, we He likes a bit of Kylie Minogue. Yeah, we did, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, Mariah anything Carey. along those lines, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we managed to knock that out of him anyway. But um, not knocking Paul Simon, of course. Yeah. But uh, um, yeah, but now, nowadays, um, no, we just, we all just, it, it just kind of fits, you know, we all know what we're doing. And yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing we need to check is how many seconds are left in a song. If uh, <laughs> yeah. the lads are on top of a speaker or something, we might have to call them back and say, yeah, you're, you're playing Your a song now, you know, you've got 30 <laughs> seconds to mix one. In, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so you've played some really big gigs, like you played the, the big massive there New Year's and the right venue. Brilliant. They're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, like you've, 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 you're playing a festival yourself, aren't, aren't you? Like, or uh, yeah, well, we've done a good few festivals yeah, now. We uh, the like UCD Ball was our last big one. That was great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, uh, just like the day and yeah, everything. Yeah, like yeah. The weather. It was a sunny day that, that day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah because yeah. the UCD Ball had been cancelled initially. Uh, uh, politics, you know, but uh, they got it back on in six days and did a savage they job. They made a balls of the, the ball. They made a balls of the ball, <laughs> but they managed to save their ball in the end, <laughs> um, which is great. More than Hitler could do. You sort of speak uh, them up, you're doing your own. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm uh, doing one down in uh, Waterford, uh, the Waterford Music Festival, and uh, it's, it's huge. Uh, yeah. it, it's going to be uh, out everywhere. Um, 50 Cent, uh, oh, wow. G Unit, Flow Rider, Shane wait. Ward. I'm heading uh, down as, I'm heading down as well, just to kind of, <laughs> just to sort of like, obviously like hang around. My cameraman, my, ro um, my roadie. I just want to see the moment where Rory like meets 50 Cent and just 50's going like, yo, what's up, what's up, play, what's up? Rory's like, hi, m m Mr. Cent, really nice to meet yeah, you, really yeah, nice yeah. to meet yeah. you. <laughs> no, I'll say For shizzle, Mr. Cent. Se <laughs> seven bullets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> BB bullets. <laughs> I got shot with a potato gun when yeah, I was yeah, nine, look yeah. at that. I'll show you where I had an operation here. That's <laughs> where <laughs> <laughs> so I got my appendix yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my tonsils. <laughs> and I was, survived. I was on a torn bush there. But, uh, no, we have, we've been real, like, we have been very lucky with our gigs and stuff, and uh, that New Year's Eve when you were talking about was, was 
the biggest New Year's Eve party in Ireland. Oh, okay, right. And we were meant to be in the right venue. It's a, it's a gorgeous venue to play, and they have a really nice big stage, and there's lots of space for us to do all the mess we need to do. Because as you can imagine, four DJs, four decks, lots of mixers. I was lots actually of there in the, the Malibu. I was there that night. When you oh, yeah, Malibu. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We did yeah, a yeah. tour of Ireland with, with Malibu, which is fantastic. Yeah, uh, we, that uh, was that was last last year. We did the first tour, and, and then they've asked us back this year to oh, do yeah. it again. So, uh, which is fantastic. Yeah, we, we, we did one, and we've uh, I think we've three next week. So. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah no, we're really looking yeah. forward to that now. And you've been signed up to a, you, a German label. Yeah, um, they, uh, they, they want you to release music as well. Do this, yeah, it, it came about first. You got signed. Yeah, uh, with uh, Plasma Digital. We, I have a song coming out in a few weeks. Uh, fingers crossed. There's always delays in these things. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're very interested in foreplay DJs. So. Um, we're uh, we're getting together now in the studio and we're working with a great producer, Mr. G, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll we'll have a song out uh, fairly soon. So shortly. you're gonna make your own as opposed to we are once the four of us music. can pool together and meet it's, up it's together. Almo it's almost like we're back to the back to the earlier days of the music kind of we're pulling in different directions yeah. of, of where we want the single to be. Um, Obviously, I want to. So no Mariah Carey. Then no, but not. <laughs> yeah. I just you want to have a dan, 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 somewhere in the in a hook. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, I want some just to appease him, like there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, but you can't, you can't, you can't beat a bit of Mariah, like you know. Yeah, yeah. But Ray, Ray, Ray Shah, <laughs> of course, is uh, is with us as well, and uh, yeah, he's got some great ideas for the music as well, you know, and uh, he's DJing around as well. Yeah, he's flying at the moment. All the time, fine, and, yeah. and Stephen, uh, who we mentioned earlier, uh, yeah. Stephen and myself are both uh, residents in the right venue. Oh, so, uh, and um, and Solar and Navin, we were both residents there. In fact, we just <laughs> tend to go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, um, yeah, it, it, it's it's all very good at the moment. It's really exciting, and the thing is, we have such crack when we're uh, on board. It really is like a break, you know. Uh, but that's what I was going to say. Is there are lots of like on the four lads on tours. There are lots of like partying and or fighting or. Well, a bit of both, yeah. You know, but, but the, luckily, the fights only last seconds, you know, which yeah. is great. Like, we had a great fight on New Year's Eve. Um, oh, that was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was that was brilliant. Just, you know, one of those class fights, you know. And it, it, last, tell them. it nearly got physical. Like. Can I tell them the story? Yeah. So, like, myself and Cooper do this thing at one stage where we're doing, like, uh, Daft Punk, except we're doing it live, and it's in one of their songs, and it's very yeah. wordy, right? Yeah. And Cooper knows all the lyrics. I know, like, every, like, sixth word. So I just every so often move go, it. like, move Shake it, it. <laughs> raise it, right? It's quite easy to have But Cooper, um, was up at this. We were up like you know, standing. He was standing on top of the deck. So he had like he has a word perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he did like thousands of people. Like this is the biggest party in Ireland, right? New Year's Eve party in Ireland, and we're like we're having the absolute crack. And uh, the thing's about to just take off, and it's like kicking into the big euphoric like. <laughs> Work it, you know, all the big thing. And just as he's about to drop the vocal, Ray for the crack just killed his microphone. <laughs> so oh, he's no just way. like this, right? <laughs> and the look on his face of just like now, alcohol was involved. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, well, we drank responsibly. I was. Oh, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. But just that moment of like, and he looked down, and he's the two boys were behind the decks, just like giggling like little schoolgirls. Stephen's <laughs> a big guy now, and he sprang. Really? Yeah. He sprang jumped from, from the deck straight yeah, down, yeah, and wow. like complete like hissy fit. Stormed off. To me? Yeah. He thought it was Shoot. me and I was perfectly innocent. Anyway, th th this lasted, I would say, about 10 seconds. Uh, obviously, I put him in his place. Yeah. <laughs> and, and about five seconds later, there's a great photograph uh, taken with us all arms around each other no. laughing, <laughs> all forgotten about. And that happens every now and then. But I think the, the parties certainly outweigh the fights and the... Oh, absolutely. Discussion. And even like when, we're, when we are touring around the country and if like, you've yeah, got to go somewhere that's a couple of hours away, we'll all meet up and we'll, we'll get down together. And the journey down sometimes is more cracked than anything else. Yeah, yeah. we've got to start recording it. Actually, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it is very funny. We're nervous. Speaking, yeah, yeah. Recording, yeah. I've great abs now from laughing on the way up. You know? Yeah, I don't really. But um, <laughs> can we talk about that other thing? The there's talk. I might as well. There's talk of oh, uh, yeah. like a light-hearted sort of documentary-style show. Oh, being like reality. Made, yeah, reality TV um, about really? us on tour and just like that, like the crack of us going down together. And you know, because like we, if we're playing a venue that night, we'd arrive down to the town wherever we're playing during the day, about you know six or seven o'clock. We do our sound check, get all the technical stuff out of the way. Yeah. Go off for some food, you know, have dinner, still just having the crack, a few beers, have a few the responsible beers, always yeah. responsible. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, you know, it's good. And hopefully, well, hopefully it works out. And it's for it's foreplaydjs. Dot com. 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 D
That will come up on the local shops. We'll get them up on the, but you can check them out before. Oh, hey, actually, this is what I wanted to do here. I will. <laughs> I'm going to tweet live. Wait, this could be gone before nine. <laughs> this is, oh, right. oh, you know, I'm not going to mess on that picture. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> well, well, Gillian's tweeting live. We're going to we're going to go off and uh, go to a break, I suppose. So, okay, see you later. Thanks very much for coming on, lads. Thank you. Thanks, okay. Cheers, mate. I've manners, <laughs> as opposed to this young Smile young rap scallion <laughs> here beside me. <laughs> Sound guys, and such an interesting lifestyle. Women, parties, top clubs. <laughs> Sounds great, huh? Maybe I chose the wrong profession. Hmm. Anyway, check them out on foreplaydjs.com. I'm now off to get the caviar and foie gras ready because in part two, it's Ivor Itch Daddy.